So now we're going to look at the 7805. 78 means it's a positive uh, voltage regulator. So we're going to set uh, 5 volts above uh, ground right there. Positive. 5 volts positive. Zero 05 means the 5 volts. And uh, so there's a 7809. It sets 9 volts. So we got 5 volts across this load. Can't really tell looking at it. Uh, data sheet recommends uh, these uh, capacitors. And um, uh, also there's heat sinks you could add to dissipate more power. Um, but uh, this regulator, it uh, will maintain, as I said before, 5 volts across the load. So as I raise the supply voltage, other than some spikes when it's adjusting to uh, when we raise the voltage, um, there you can see, current remains steady. And uh, so that's the current going through the load. The only way the current could remain steady like that is if there's a steady voltage of about 5 volts across it. This does not convert power though. All that extra voltage is just waste heat. So now here's the uh, 7805 voltage uh, regulator, 5 volts, uh, pin layout right there, left pin is uh, in, middle pin is common, so is the tab which is on back, a uh, metal tab that you can attach a heat sink to, and then the uh, right pin over there is the output, and you give a higher voltage, at least a couple volts, uh, in right there, and uh, it's good to have a stabilizing capacitor. Although maybe you won't notice a problem in some circuits, but you should have one. That's uh, the value I saw on one of the data sheets. And then also an output capacitor. Main thing is that you got five volts higher than what that ground uh, is right there. So you don't have to necessarily put that to ground. Maybe you want a voltage that's five volts higher than a point in the circuit or something. Be aware of that. But in any case, it's going to output five volts and uh, power a load. Now, at higher currents, you may need a heat sink or whatever. Be aware of that. Check the data sheet for specifics.